I'm Paul Levinson, and welcome to Light on Light Through, episode 271. My review of Star Trek Picard, episode 2.5. And it was one superb episode indeed, with so many profound, unexpected elements unfolding so quickly, it felt like just five minutes had passed before the episode was over. I guess that's appropriate given that time travel is such a major part of the story this season. And be warned, there are spoilers ahead. So let's see. We meet Picard's great aunt in 2024, Renee Picard, whose accomplishments as astronaut have to happen in order for our timeline to be preserved. Q, of course, doesn't want that, and he's pulling out all kinds of stops to stop that. This, of course, raises the tricky question of why Q can't just make everything he wants happen by snapping his fingers. Yeah, he and we saw last week that, for some unknown reason, that's just not happening. And Jean-Luc becomes aware of that tonight as well. Meanwhile, Q is pursuing another related gambit. You know, they're all related in Star Trek. He's trying to get Dr. Sung, whose descendant created Data, to help him Q, implement some essential part of his plan. His leverage over Sung is to provide a cure for the fatal illness of Sung's daughter. It was great to see Brent Spiner back in yet another Sung data role. He's looking and sounding good. And if those two threads aren't enough, let's not forget the Borg Queen and the hold she now has over Agnes. I just knew Agnes couldn't have killed the Queen so easily. And sure enough, in a shocking scene at the end of this episode, there's the Queen, indeed, right there in Agnes's head as she works to help the team keep Renee in motion. Speaking of which, it's great to see the team all back together. They'll need all the help they can get fighting not one, but two masterful villains, Q and the Borg Queen. Well, at least one thing seems to be going very well. Picard's conversations with the woman in 2024 who looks just like Laris, played, of course, by the same actress, Paula Brady, but the two are not the same person. Well, that doesn't matter, does it? It's bound to help Picard and Laris get back together again, right? And I'll see you back here next week with my review of the next episode of this excellent season so far of Star Trek Picard. And I hope you enjoyed that review of Star Trek Picard, episode 2.5. I think of it as, just walk away, Renee. Well, not really just walk away. Don't walk away, Renee. All right, enough of my singing. I will see you back here next week with my review of episode 2.6 of Star Trek Picard. And before then, I'll be back with a review of the new episode of Severance and a review of the new episode of The Last Days of Ptolemy Gray. In the meantime, stay safe, stay sound, and do what you can to help those heroic people fighting off the Russians in Ukraine. The Light on Light Through podcast. Athens, 2042 A.D.
She ripped the paper in half, then ripped the halves, then ripped what was left again into bits and pieces of history that could have been. Sierra Waters had read once that, years ago, it was thought that men made love for the thrill, while women made love for the sense of connection it gave them. Curled up with a good book says, Sierra Waters is sexy as hell. You can find out more about The Plot to Save Socrates by Paul Levinson at theplottosavesocrates.com. about an ancient biotech war raging on in secret for centuries.